everybody. Welcome to Sacred Insights. I am Andrea Bacon, your host. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you're all doing awesome. So I wanted to start off with just something a little bit different today. And I wanted to do a like one minute grounding or centering meditation. And I'm just going to be talking you through it. So it won't be any empty spaces, quiet spaces. So if you would like, please close your eyes and soften your gaze and take a few slow deep breaths. Feeling your chest rise as you inhale and soften as you release. And noticing how your body feels on the surface you're sitting on, the floor beneath your feet. And just noticing any sensations in your body relaxing any areas that might feel tight and just breathing in and out and softening. Bringing your attention to your mind, notice any thoughts, releasing any attachments or judgments to them and just noticing them as they arise, just breathing normally and bring your awareness to your heart. Listening to the wisdom of your heart. Asking yourself, what am I grateful for? And whatever is present to you. And then bringing your awareness back to your breath. Being in the now moment. Feeling the surface that you're sitting on. The floor beneath your feet and coming back to the room that you're in. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. Okay, so I hope that was helpful to you, maybe kind of letting go of the day for just a minute there. So I'm gonna talk about the angels. Um, I have been working intentionally with the angels for 27 years. So that's crazy to me. It's been almost 30 years. That's easy but it's been that long it's hard to believe but when I first started I had learned a lot about Archangel Michael so that's who I'm going to mostly talk about today um, and though so I'm not going to go over the history or the Bible or anything with religion nothing about that um, so Archangel Michael as you may know he is important for people who work with the spirit world, who are on a spiritual journey, light workers, empaths, people tapping into the higher realms to gain or to receive guidance in order to help other people as well as help ourselves and the world, really. Um, now, all the angels have specialties, they have purposes, and they can do many things. They're not only, you know, just that one purpose, but his main precise job is to protect humans, is to protect people here, okay? Um, so this can be energetically as well as physically. So he is great at removing any energy that has been sent to you through thought, word, or deed. And as empaths, we, are, we really can absorb so much stuff that's not ours. We can feel emotions and even physical ailments in the body from other people. Um, as well as, as with all the angels, you know, it's important to note that we must ask them for their help. This is a free will planet and they don't intervene unless there's like a life threatening situation. So it is important to cleanse our energy from what's not ours. And I think it's great to do this every day if you can. So if you start to feel angry out of nowhere or sad out of nowhere, know that it's probably not your energy. Someone you know could be thinking about you and they could be going through those emotions at the time that they're thinking about you and you can feel them. Um, we especially feel this when you know there's a strong bond that we have with someone um, and it can be just a soul bond. We don't have to have them in our lives. We don't have to have them around us. 
if they're not really a part of our life anymore, but there's that, that strong soul bond and they're thinking about you um, and they're going through those emotions, like I said, you can pick up on that. That's happened to me many times. Um, so also another thing that is really helpful to call on Archangel Michael is when you feel unsafe or if you feel afraid. So whether you feel physically or energetically afraid, if you're, you know, you can call on him and he will help you. The angels can be many in many places and you're not bothering them. So you can call on them several times a day um, and it's not going to be bothering them. They are there for that purpose, really. They want to be working with people as much as possible. And this is going to be helping the world. It's helping us as individuals with our lives, raising our vibrations, and helping us to live a happier, healthier life, raising the vibrations of the planet. And so it's a great thing to do to bring the angels into your life. Um, so every morning I ground my energy to be connected to the earth, to be present in the present moment, to be connected to myself. And this is also great to do if you're in your head a lot or feeling scattered. Um, just grounding into the earth, releasing energy into the earth. I'm sure a lot of you already do that or know about that, but after I do my grounding, I call on Archangel Michael. Um, I really have to do this every day, especially as a medium, but um, this is great for, like I said, for anybody to do. So I call on him to enter my home, my energy field, and even my car to remove any negativity, negative energies, negative entities, or anything that really, it doesn't belong with me. So it could be something I've absorbed um, from being somewhere else or something that someone has sent to me intentionally or unintentionally. So I ask him to remove this from my home, from my aura, and take it into the light for transmutation. Because energy doesn't die, and I think it's good to just, instead of sending it to someone, to just send it into the light. I think that's really kind of the best thing to do. And then I ask to be sealed with divine white light for protection, keeping out any harm and negativity. Um, I make sure to bring the white light into my home and then that to be sealed as well. Because like I said, being a medium, being open to spirit, anything can enter. And that kind of goes with empaths. So this just makes all the difference in the world to do these things. It only takes a few minutes um, and is extremely helpful. And I forgot to mention that he comes through like a royal blue color. So you might see a blue orb. Um, if you're seeing like blue sparkles out of the corner of your eyes, it's very likely it could be Archangel Michael. Um, a lot of the angels do tend to show sparkles if you just see them now, um, I'm not talking about a medical condition here, but you know, if you see sparkles out of the corner of your eyes, and that used to happen to me a lot, it looked kind of glittery, that angels do that, um, if you know that's not like a metal, medical thing for you. But um, you can call, also call on him to clear public spaces. I usually do this if things are getting chaotic in the environment that I'm in. Um, or people are getting rowdy and it's like just kind of uncomfortable. You know, as I mentioned before though, the angels, they are not gonna infringe on anybody's free will, but they can protect you if anyone is like infringing on your free will. And it definitely makes a difference if you do that. And like immediate, it's kind of immediately, like everything just kind of feels more normal. It's really cool, but so, Doing this practice daily as much as possible, like I said, it changed my life. I don't think I'd be here right now if I hadn't done this. Um, 
I'm like doing what I'm doing. I really don't think I'd be doing what I'm doing if I had not, you know, put this effort into this energetic hygiene. And another thing to think about is if you had a trauma or a difficult home, whether it be in your childhood or any time in your life um, where people or situations were hard, were difficult, were negative, um, that could be, they could be um, influenced by spirits that are of a lower vibration or trickster spirits. And if you experience a lot of this in your life, even if you're not experiencing it anymore, I definitely, you know, I've been through this myself. So I definitely recommend doing these things that I'm mentioning, working with Archangel Michael, um, clearing your space and, you know, clearing your energy. And it's just going to help you in a lot of ways and help you raise your vibration. So that is almost it. Just know that you can connect with your angels. Um, after you're cleared, you, you can sit in meditation, connect with them, ask them questions, um, you know, ask them what they want you to know. And doing this is a beautiful way to get in touch with your intuition. It helps strengthen your intuition. Connecting with your spirit team is a wonderful thing. It makes a huge difference in your life. And this just taking a few minutes out to meditate really is the way to do this. So um, if you have a question for your angels, you can ask them. Don't force the answer if you're not getting something that's normal. A lot of times it comes to you later, like in like a knowing type of thing. And so, yeah, just know that, that you can um, get information as well that you're looking for help with and just allow it to unfold. It's a process. So. That is what I have for you today. Um, if you want to check out any of my readings or medical intuitive sessions, it's um, at andreabacon.com or medium Andrea Bacon on Etsy. And thank you so much. I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful week and have a great day. Um, and yeah, connect with your angels and get the, those intuitive muscles flexing. Um, if you have any questions for me, it's andrea.bacon444 at gmail.com.